Hello guys and welcome to another calculus video. In this video we're going to be taking on this integral right here. It's going to be a relatively straightforward and easy one, though we don't have any fun tricks that we're able to use in this one. But it's um, a relatively fun integral. We get to use some infinite series, so let's go ahead and jump right into the integration. Now, this integral is actually from the Cambridge Integration B, um, one that I've done many integrals on in the past, as you all know. Um, so it's the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of x ln sine of x dx. And it looks like we should just use the same u equals pi over 2 minus x that we use without when this x isn't here. And I tried that. I wasn't really able to make all that much progress, so I'm not so sure that there is a method using that. I'm sure there's some way to use it, but this is not the quickest method as far as I can tell. The quickest method is going to be using complex analysis. So let's go ahead and substitute in the definition of sine of x. The great part about this is we know that everything is positive on this interval, right? Which means that um, the natural logarithm here is going to be a real value. So we know that we could just get rid of anything that's imaginary in our integrand. For example, we're going to um, expand out this 1 over i as a natural logarithm, So and also the uh, 1 over uh, uh, ln2. So we're going to get integral from 0 to pi over 2 of natural log of 1 over i, which is just negative i pi over 2 times x dx. And we know that whatever contribution this integral has, it's not going to matter and it's going to be cancelled out by other things because this is purely imaginary. So we don't need to worry about this at all. We do need to worry about negative integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln2 times x dx. That's going to contribute part of the integral, and we also are going to have plus the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln e to the i x minus e to the i negative x. But one thing that we can do here is we can go ahead and separate out this e to the i x. Um, so we're going to get i x squared plus x natural log of 1 minus e to the negative 2i x dx. And again, this is just going to be imaginary, so we can go ahead and just, or it doesn't go to 0, I'm sorry, this doesn't go to 0, but we, we're not going to worry about it because we're only worrying about the real part. So this first integral right here on the left is going to contribute the first part of our integral. It's going to be negative pi squared over 8 ln 2, and we're going to be adding the value of the real part of the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of x natural log of 1 minus e to the negative 2 i x dx. So let's go ahead and solve that. So let's just take a look at this part of the integral. So we're going to go ahead and expand this using our power series ln 1 plus x, or sorry, 1 minus x, 1 minus x equals um, negative sum from n equals 1 to infinity of x to the n over n. So we're going to get, uh, I'm going to ignore this real part and we can just cancel any imaginary parts afterwards. So we're going to get the integral, or actually let's bring the sum outside negative. This, okay, sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n times the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of x times e to the negative 2 i and x dx. Now let's go ahead and solve this integral right here. This is straightforward integration by parts. So let's make a little table. We're going to have x, 1, and 0. This is just our integration by parts tabular method. e to negative 2 i n x, e to negative 2 i n x over 2 n i, and e to the negative 2 i n x over negative 4 n squared. All right, so let's go ahead and substitute this in. We're going to be using these crossovers right here. Oh, this should be a negative sign and then positive again. So we are going to have negative the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n. Or actually, let's just use that 1 over n on each term. So we're going to have um, x e to the negative 2 i n x minus sine over 2 n squared i evaluated at pi over 2 and at 0. Now notice that at pi over 2, 
2n is always going to be a multiple of pi, which means that this e to the i, uh, 2n i x, is just going to be negative 1 to the n. However, in this case, negative 1 to the n is going to be purely real, and since we have this imaginary number in the bottom, this entire part of the integral is just going to disappear. So we actually don't need to worry about that. And we're only going to worry about the other part of the integral, which is this bit right here. So that's going to be uh, e to negative 2i n x over 4n squared, because that negative sign is going to cancel. And actually, that's going to be 4n cubed, because we had that 1 over n from before. Evaluated at uh, pi over 2 and at 0. So let's go ahead and separate those two. So we're going to get the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of at pi over 2. This is just going to be e to the negative i pi x, which is the same, or i pi n, sorry, um, which is just the same as negative 1 to the n. And you can pretty easily check that for yourself. So negative 1 to the n over 4 n cubed. And then we're also going to be subtracting the value at 0, which is just um, 1 over 4 n cubed. So this is a pretty straightforward summation right here. This one is just going to be zeta of 3, and this one is just going to be eta of 3. So we have negative 1 fourth. Um, I don't really know how to draw an eta. I think it looks like this. Eta of 3 minus zeta of 3. Or no, yeah, so these are both, this is actually negative, or so this is actually negative uh, zeta, uh, eta of 3. So yeah, so we're going to have here um, 3 fourths zeta of s. So here we have negative eta of s minus zeta, or mi negative eta of 3 minus zeta of 3. And using this formula right here, you can calculate that eta of 3 equals um, 3 fourths zeta of 3. So we're going to just end up with um, 7 fourths on the inside. So overall, our answer is going to be 7 sixteenths zeta of 3. And if we combine that with what we had on the previous slide, we have negative pi squared over 8 ln 2. And that is the answer to this amazing integral. So that's a pretty straightforward integral for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more content like this, please let me know. Thanks. See you next time.